Good afternoon and welcome back to TCM. I'm Dave Carger. Our Veterans Day lineup continues now with a World War II aviation drama produced just a few years after the war ended. Part of a wave of post-war Hollywood films that glamorized the American heroes who had fought overseas. From Warner Brothers in 1948, it's Fighter Squadron. Edmund O'Brien stars as a rebellious ace pilot who clashes with his superiors about the rules, but then enforces them strictly when he's promoted to command his squadron, even though it means alienating his former friends in order to lead them effectively. The movie was directed by Raoul Walsh, who was an expert when it came to action films and had made a number of World War II pictures during the war, including Desperate Journey and Objective Burma, both of them starring Errol Flynn. In Fighter Squadron, Walsh began grooming another future star, an ex-truck driver who was under contract to Walsh and also doubled as his chauffeur. Keep an eye out for a tall, dark, and handsome young man who had just changed his name from Roy Fitzgerald to Rock Hudson and makes his screen debut here. He received no credit and only had one line in the film, you've got to get a bigger blackboard. Apparently Hudson was so new to this acting work that it took 38 takes before he was able to get that single line of dialogue out correctly. From Warner Brothers in 1948, also with Robert Stack, here is Fighter Squadron. Edmund O'Brien was just one decade into what became a 35-year Hollywood career when he made Fighter Squadron in 1948. He'd gotten off to an auspicious start when he made his debut in 1939's The Hunchback of Notre Dame, alongside Charles Lawton and Maureen O'Hara. But after making just a handful of films, O'Brien stepped away from the screen to serve in the U.S. Army Air Forces during World War II. During the war, he also appeared in the Broadway play Winged Victory by Moss Hart, which was created and produced by the Army Air Forces as a morale booster and fundraiser for the Army Emergency Relief Fund. O'Brien toured in the production and reprised his role when the play was filmed in 1944. His career really began to take off after the war with prominent supporting roles in movies like The Killers and White Heat. He went on to earn two Oscar nominations for Best Supporting Actor, and he won the award for his performance in 1954's The Barefoot Contessa. Up next is another World War II drama, arguably the best one ever made. It's the movie that won the Oscar for Best Picture of 1946, directed by William Wyler and starring Frederick March, Myrna Loy, Dana Andrews, Teresa Wright, and Harold Russell. Next on TCM, the best years of our lives, then Fist of Fury, and later, The Way of the Dragon. Fists are flying on TCM tonight. <laughs> 